Folks, welcome to John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. Today is March the 24th, and the coronavirus is shutting down the state of Wisconsin effective midnight tonight. But we're going to get one last-ditch effort to catch some walleyes on the Bay of Green Bay, and we'll talk about how the coronavirus is affecting fishermen in Wisconsin. Fleet Farm presents John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. Fleet Farm, the ultimate fishing headquarters. Just a big, beautiful fish. Oh, is that awesome. Holy moly! Oh, 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 oh my gosh! It's a huge fish! It's a huge fish! This is amazing! How do you guys? Oh my awesome. gosh! Yes, folks, so we're walleye fishing on the Bay of Green Bay, and again, this is March the 24th, and the shutdown order for the state of Wisconsin is going into effect at midnight tonight. And uh, we're going to practice, obviously, social distancing today. I'm going to be here in the back of the boat, my buddy Brett Jolly and his son Nash in the front of the boat, and uh, we're going to try for some walleyes. And, and you can take a look out here. You've got ice, I mean, solid ice on the Bay of Green Bay. we got some open water here in the mouth of a river. So we're going to try and do this, but Brett, I'll tell you what, if folks are going to be off of work and whatnot because of this deal, which is tough on everybody, fishing is a great way to get out and relax, isn't it? Yeah, you know, you got to get outside. If you lock yourself inside, everybody's going to go nuts, but still be smart, you know, fish only with your close family, kids, wives, um, and just be careful. When you're out in a boat, I mean, you're not by other people, so you're, it's a great way to just enjoy the outdoors. Well, I'll tell you what, Brett, you know, we look at this ice shelf here, buddy, uh, and the water temp only 34 degrees. Can you catch walleyes in this cold water? Yeah, you got to fish a little slower than later in the year. You know, we're just very, very slowly working these jigs uh, with plastics and live bait, and we should get a few. Folks, later on in the program, we'll talk to a Wisconsin government official about how the coronavirus affects fishermen in the state of Wisconsin. Hey folks, you can win this all new 2020 Yamaha X2 XTR. This is the same machine that we use on the show. Of course, we depend on Yamaha ATVs and side-by-sides to get us where we need to go to catch fish. Now you have a chance to win this one for yourself. This XTR Edition Wolverine is ready for extreme adventure with a factory installed worn winch special edition paint, color matched wheels, and aggressive GBC Dirt Commander tires. It's really easy to enter. Find the link on our Facebook, Instagram, or website. Good luck. Folks, here's a couple of important facts that you should know about Eagle Claw hooks. Number one, Eagle Claw is the only hook in the world made right here in the USA. Number two, American workmanship guarantees innovation, and we've been doing it since 1925. Number three, Eagle Claw's in-house superior technology builds Eagle Claw, Laser Sharp, and Trocar brands. <laughs> Look at the size of that yeah. fish! All right. Oh my gosh! Fish get hooked on Eagle Claw. So should you. What's the difference between a good net and a great net? Simple. It's all in the features. Fortis nets by Clam Outdoors are tough, safe on fish, easy to use, and a telescoping handle. more about Portis Nets at ClamOutdoors.com. Folks, before we get back to the fishing, I want to talk a little bit about the uh, Wisconsin Safer at Home order that will be in effect until April the 24th and how that will affect fishing in the state of Wisconsin. And we've got Sarah Hoy, the Communications Director of the Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources standing by. First of all, Sarah, is everything well with you and your family? Yes, thanks for asking. We are all safe and we are all abiding by Governor Evers' safer at home order. A lot of folks aren't working right now and want to get out and, and, and enjoy fishing. First of all, are the state parks and the uh, boat launches that are owned by the state open? 
Yes, they are. So under the Safer at Home order, that recognizes outdoor activity as an essential activity. So as a result of that, state parks, trails, forests remain open and all fees are now waived. The one thing that we do want the public to know is you need to stay within your community. And of course, we're all practicing social distancing. We're all washing our hands. We're only fishing a couple people in the boat at the same time. It's cool to go fishing. Our boat landings are open. Our state parks are open. Follow the social distancing rules. Wash your hands, but get out and enjoy fishing in your area. That's right. Stay close to home, stay in your community, and help stop the spread of COVID-19. Hey, here we go. Welcome back, folks. I got a fish on. All right, take a look at that. Pretty decent walleye there. Okay, Jolly, stay six feet away from me. <laughs> and there you go. There you go. And you know, we talk about using different things here, buddy. And uh, I'm going to grab this walleye and... Uh, what I'm using is the new Tickle series uh, by Kalins, and it's got these little bumps on it like that, and you sure. just kind of move that real slow, Brett, but uh, put that on a Google Eye jig, and that really works. And you got to be really, really slow this time of year, folks. Kind of just a lift and a drop, a lift and a drop, but uh, that's a beautiful walleye. Now, you can keep one each, is that correct? Yeah, one per person. Okay, do you want to have one for dinner? Uh, we'll let that one go, maybe okay. later. Well, actually, that's the perfect eater. I hope we catch bigger ones right. than that. But again, folks, you know, moving that real slow, and we'll talk that, about that a little bit later on. You got a bite? Oh, hey, yeah. there we nice go. hooks out there, Jalaruma. Now that's on the Google Eye jig in the minnow? Yeah, uh, yeah, just a jig and minnow. Well, that's a good thing to use this time of year too, folks, and the water temperatures are really cold. Feel like a decent fish? Yeah, it's all right. Probably another one of those nice males. Well, those are fun. Oh boy, yeah, that's a that's a better male. That is that a male or a female there, Jowls? Uh, it looks like a chunky little female. Boy, that is cool, buddy. Yeah. And you know, that's the thing, you know, this time of year, uh, we always talk about this, you know, here we are in March, late March, and uh, have minnows with you, right? Yeah, always. Cold water, live bait always works really good, especially in these clear kind of conditions. And you know, we got to talk too, though, in the next couple of weeks when this ice blows out of here, that's when the real heyday comes. Yeah, yeah. Once it starts warming up, the big fish start moving in. And, you know, once the ice is gone, we got a lot more options for spots. And, uh, yeah, the fishing will only get better over the next few weeks. What do you got on, Nash? A big a walleye. All right, Nash Rooney. All right, buddy. Let's see what we got. Here he comes. And Nash. Nash, get him in there, Nash. All right, right to me. Come on, Nash. Yay, there we go. Nash. Way to go. Hey, turn around and let's talk to the people at home, Nash. Hey, up, buddy? buddy. How did that bite feel? Good. No, I mean, what was it like? Um, so like I, like I was lifting the lot, lifting the rod up, and then I just lifted it up a little harder, and then there's no bite at all. This, there just felt like a little weight. Now you can keep one walleye. Do you want to keep one for dinner? Yeah. Why? Did your dad like to cook them for you? Yep. <laughs> no, that's great, buddy. And I, I asked you before we came out today how many walleyes you caught on, on live bait. How many? About, I don't know. A hundred? Yeah, something like that. As you notice, folks, we're keeping good social distance between us. I'm in the back of the boat and the jollies are out there in the front of the boat. But we caught those three walleyes. And I caught the first one on this Google Eye jig tipped with a new... Uh, Kalen's plastic. Now that's called the Tickle Series and that comes through the water, man. It looks really enticing. And you guys up there are using live bait and you, you like that Google Eye jig and how do you put that minnow on? Going right through the lips and out through the middle of the back. Okay, so it doesn't matter if it's dead? No, it doesn't have to, doesn't have to be alive. Um, you're, you're giving the action by lifting and dropping. And that Google Eye actually makes a little clicking noise. Yeah, that, that little vibration down there, that clicking sound gets them going. Now Nash, do you reel these in real fast or how do you retrieve them? No, you reel them in real slow because if you reel them in real fast, the fish won't bite exactly and because uh, in the winter you have to reel it in more slowly because the fish are moving slow, more slow. So real slow. Yep. Hey, there nice job there, Jalarubu. The hits are so subtle, oh, aren't they? Oh, they're light. Really, really light. Okay, now Nash is going to have to net this baby yep. for you. It looks like a decent fish. Yeah, feels all right. 
you know, and now, ooh, look at that battle there. Look at that battle. Here comes Nash with the net ski. Okay, Nasharu. Ooh, there's a nice walleye. Look yeah. at that. And this water is so clear this time of year, folks. Good job, buddy. Pass that right up to your dad there, Nash. Boy, I'll tell you what, you know, how many years have we been fishing with Nash now? Uh, a couple was, years, well, probably four or five years. Yeah, yeah, I think he was four years old the first yep. time we had him out ice fishing. Yep. But uh, no, that's another beautiful walleye there. Now, you know, what is prime time for folks to do this? Um, you know, any time from beginning of April through the end is, is really, really good. Yeah. You know, it's, it's a little bit early, but obviously we're getting into some fish already. We are fishing the Bay of Green Bay out of Ocano, Wisconsin. A two hour drive from Milwaukee, three and a half hours from Chicago, and four and a half hours from Minneapolis. Congratulations to last month's winner of the Amsoil Fishing Report giveaway, Brian Mulherin. The new Amsoil Fishing Report for the month of April is now live. Check out some awesome information from guides all over the Midwest. Also, you have a chance to win an Amsoil sweatshirt and hat signed by John Gillespie and an Amsoil $50 gift card. To enter, simple. Just like this post and tag three of your fishing buddies. Good luck, everyone. The first thing that we're going to do today is attack panfish in the basin of a lake. Just gives it a little extra flavor or smell. Fishing jumbo perch in Devil's Lake, North Dakota. This is not too early to come out and catch walleyes, huh? It's never too early. This middle of May stuff for walleyes, it's cool. It's a night and day difference putting the bait made on. This is ranked as one of the top smallmouth destinations in the world. And that bait made does work, doesn't it? It does. August is a great time to come here. We're going to be targeting lake trout today. It's fall. <laughs> well, yeah, it is fall. It's really a blast coming out here musky fishing. Catch more fish all year long with Baitmate Fish Attractant. Check it out at baitmate.com. Over time, there's always been this game of nip and tuck with professional shallow water guides balancing weight with power. With the new 140 G2, now I have an inline three cylinder that will still allow me to float in less than 10 inches of water. The bonus is, is I've got all the power and torque I want now, and I've got way more speed than I deserve. Boy, that one just, hit, that one hit pretty hard, yeah, huh? Yeah, that one smacked it. Yeah, because I usually you say, oh, I got one hanging on. Yeah, 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 that one hit it pretty good. You know, with this warm weather, they might be getting a little more aggressive. Ooh, there you go, Jolly. Look at that walleye. That's a beauty there, pal. Oh, yeah. so you said, you know, we got no wind and the sun beating down on this clear water. Yep. That means they'll get more. Uh, if you go up a degree or two of water temp, it that's makes all, a big difference. That's all it takes. You know, a little bit warmer water and those fish will get way more active. Now that's uh, a fatty. Yeah, that's a chunky little fish. And, and again, Jolly, too, uh, we're going to fish all day. That evening right. deal can be really good. The evening is usually the best, and that's usually when we get the bigger ones. Hey, back on the boat now, Jolly. i got to tell you what I did here, buddy. Don't get near me. Stay away. But here comes the <laughs> walleye. Ooh, that's a nice fish, Jolly. Yeah. There you go, buddy. You take him up there, pal. You take him up there. Well, you know what I did? Uh, I switched to a small jerk minnow, a four-inch jerk minnow, and really slowed the pace down. You know what I mean? Yep. And uh, maybe you can hold that jerk minnow up next to the fish. Uh, if you, yeah, there you go. Yeah. But uh, so this time of year, go small, huh? Yeah, small, you know, jigging minnow, small plastics, slow. Definitely want to be going slow. That was fun, though. That's yeah. my first one on a jerk minnow this year. Well, I'll get some more. And that actually is a very effective bait once this ice goes it, out. Absolutely. One of my favorites. Hey, Brett, one thing you got to watch out for this time of year when you got these big ice flows coming, we got a calm day today, but on a windy day, these big ice flows like this can be dangerous, can't they? Yeah, they can be really dangerous. You know, hard on your boat, obviously, but I've I've seen it where people have actually gotten trapped out here and they're not able to get back in. Um, a few years ago, they had to have emergency rescues come and get a bunch of guys out of the bay because uh, they were stuck out here. They couldn't get back to the boat landing. Stuck in their boats. Yeah, stuck in their boats. Couldn't get back to the landing. Okay, back in the boat there, Jolly. Nice. You just caught a little northern pike. I think this feels like a walleye. Ooh, yeah, there's a, look at that, folks. There, you take them up there in the front, buddy. That's a beautiful fish. And I'll tell you what, though, again, 
downsizing to that smaller bait is so key this time of year, folks. Yes, it you is. You know, normally I'm using the five-inch jerk minnows, and, and that's the that's the four-inch jerk minnow, right, Brett? Yeah. Yep. That's the junior. Yeah. That and, one really ate it. Yeah. It wasn't messing around. And you know, the interesting thing was when we got out here this morning, you said the water temple is what? 33 and a half or something like that. And the sun has increased the water temp to about 35, 36. Yeah, 36 right now. The junior jerk minnow again back here, Jal. Nice. Ooh, boy, I'll tell you, that's Ooh, fun. That's a pretty one. Get him in the net ski there, buddy. Yeah, hold that one up for me, pal. All right. Hey, I'll tell you what, we moved in closer to shore and that water temp popped up, up to about 37 degrees, yeah, right? Just a little bit warmer and that's that's the key in the spring is finding that warm water, um, even if it's only a degree or two. Did he that, eat that pretty good? Yeah, he inhaled that. Well, so that's, that's a good sign because we get later on in the afternoon here, buddy. We could be smoking them. Hey, want to mention uh, why Blake isn't with us today. And uh, it's social distancing, right? One yeah. more person in the boat. Yep. You know, we want to keep the boat, you know, kind of limited. Not a lot of people. Keep apart from one another. But, uh, I mean, Nash is my kid, so he's with me all the time. Hey, Brett, look at Nash, sound asleep, sound asleep in the front of the boat, but you got him up really early. Nash, wake up and grab a rod. Come on, wake up and grab a rod. What were you doing sleeping? <laughs> sleeping. Why? Because I'm tired. Well, now you just saw me catch a fish, so you woke up, huh? Well, my dad missed three bites, so I woke up. Yeah, okay, well, how was your nap? Good. You feeling like fishing again now? Sure. Look at what his Nash got on. Look nice at fly. that. What did you do? Put some plastic on for him? Ooh. Uh, gave him a hair jig. Oh, Ooh, go, okay. Buddy. Nicely job, done. Bud. Hey, Nash, what happened? I don't know. He's what were you, what retrieve were you doing when he hit? Um, uh, a, st a, two, a fast reel and then a stop, fast reel stop. Nice fish, Boy, buddy. That's a beauty, Nash. Look that's how fat a fatty. That is. That's a beautiful fish there, buddy. Good job. Hey, and you know what's interesting, Brett? You know, when you take a look around where we're fishing here, uh, we are so close to massive ice, aren't we? Yeah, I mean, we don't have a lot of water to fish right now. It's it's like a small lake. When you take a look around, man, there are still big ice flows and everything else. Yeah, there's a ton of ice out here. You know, you gotta just be careful where you're at. Uh, you know, you can get trapped out here, so just be careful. But yeah, there's some open water. Nash, hold him up there, buddy. That's a beautiful fish. And, and again, fast reel, stop, fast reel, stop. And what what was the bite like? It was just a little pole, just a little kind of tug, and yeah. You set the hook, hold him out. Beauty, yeah, buddy. Great. What do you got, Nash? You got another one on? Take yep. your time, buddy. Take your time. Nice. Is he Ooh, big, that's a Nash? nice fish. Nash, is he big? Yep. All right, buddy. All right, man. Okay. Get him in there. Oh, Nash and Rudy. Get him up. There we go. Oh, Good job, buddy. Nash, turn around, buddy. That is a beautiful walleye there, pal. Nash. Right off the bat. Nash, what happened? I don't know. No, seriously, man, you're red hot. Look well, at that one, two Brett. Fish in a row. That's a fatty. Cast and, after cast. Yeah, well, you were <laughs> sleeping earlier today, but you knew when to sleep, right? You sl yeah. You slept when? During the time when it's slow. Yeah, I don't blame you. Hold them up high there, pal. And Nash, where do you go to school? Marathon. Marathon what? Elementary school. And who's your buddy, Reed? Yep. And who's your teacher? Mr. Mrzinski. Well, that's for Mrs. Mrzinski. And you guys are out of school, right? Yep. Well, you can go fishing with your dad every day, right? Yep. Breaking news from Fleet Farm. Folks, check this out. All Rapella and Northland lures are now 30% off. Rapella and Northland lures are all 30% off. The Kalen's Google Eye swim bait features a built-in glass rattle in the head that puts off awesome vibration and noise. Also features a wire keeper that locks on your favorite soft plastic paddle tail. The Kalen's Google Eye swim bait, available in four sizes and four colors. Johnson Pump makes the best aeration systems in the world. In fact, most major boat manufacturers exclusively use Johnson Pump aeration systems. 
Johnson Pump also makes portable aeration kits. It's like having a bait shop right along with you. Our exclusive tiny bubbles stay longer in the water, providing more oxygen while removing harmful carbon dioxide. That keeps your expensive live bait frisky and ready to catch more fish. Johnson Pump aeration systems, great for your bucket, cooler, or boat. And, and remember, remember folks, get Johnson Pump! Pump. What lies beneath can no longer hide. New Mega Imaging Plus uses high-frequency sonar to show you fish and structure up to 200 feet below your boat and 200 feet out to either side. No more secrets. No more guesswork. Just a clearer picture of the world below, down to a fish's species and direction. Because more detail means more of this. Whoa. Only from Humminbird. So you switch baits now. Yeah, well, Nash got two in a row on the hair jig, so I figured I'd give it a try. And yeah, it is interesting. Right away. Yeah, we've caught a lot of fish on a lot of different baits, you know that? Yeah, yeah, live bait, plastics, hair yeah. jigs. Ooh, that's a good one, buddy. Good job, bud. And you know, as we get later in the day, these fish are actually moving up a little shallower, you know that? Yeah, Josh? yeah, we're getting up into about that seven, eight feet. Uh, we had been getting them out in that 10, 10 to 15. Um, so yeah, they're gonna push up as it gets darker. Um, they're getting staging, getting ready to go up to spawn. Now I want to mention to the folks, obviously, that y you guide the bay a lot. Yeah. Uh, the end of March, all April, some of May too, right? Yeah, May, June, July. I, I mean, I'm all out here all summer long fishing walleyes, and then come late summer, I switch to muskies. And you had some great walleye fishing in June and July last year. Yeah, it was awesome. Easy jigging. Uh, you know, I did very, very little trolling all last year. It's almost all jigging all year out here now. You know, that is so funny. I just said, what, we haven't had a bite in about yeah. an hour? Yeah, and I got slammed. Yeah, that one hit hard. Yeah, he hit it really hard. Any size? Uh, it's decent, not huge, but decent. All pretty much cookie cutter beautiful fish, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, just that real nice average green base size. There you go. Good and what, job, what buddy. Kind of, are, you, are you still moving that pretty slow, Joe? Yeah. Oh, we're doing that hair jig that Nash got got hot on, and you know you just kind of reel it slow and not a whole lot to it. Oh, you just took the lead for the day too, didn't you? Well, Nash, get off. There you go, buddy. Look at that. Now, folks, those actually when when Brett is guiding in the month of April, that would be one of the smallest fish of the day, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Usually these are the little ones, um, and we catch a pile of great big ones. That, you know, in a few more weeks here, um, fishing's going to get really good. But for folks that want to catch a trophy fish. Uh, the Bay of Green Bay in the month of April is the place to be. Yeah, it? absolutely. You know, and they're they're big, they're full of spawn, they're fat, heavy. Uh, it's just a lot of fun this time of year. It's now time to announce this week's winners of the Fleet Farm, John Gillespie's Waters and Woods 2020 Fishing Contest. This week's first winner is Robert Robinson of Red Granite. He caught this 32-inch walleye in Washora County on a golden shiner. Dan Liberaki of Mundelein, Illinois, caught this 48-inch northern on Reindeer Lake on a shiner. Kurt Meshick of Hilbert, Wisconsin, caught this 15-inch perch on Little Beta Knock on a Castmaster. Dan Kirk of Menasha caught this 25-inch largemouth on Fortune Pond. He was using a humdinger. And this week's kids winners are Addison Qualman of Oak Creek caught this 22-inch bass on a private lake on a minnow. And Katrina Kilpin of Elkhorn caught this 37-inch northern on Lauderdale Lake on a shiner. Oh, Jolly, you know what I did, buddy? What's that? I put on that, uh, that, uh, wiggler thing that I started out the day with. Oh, the tickle tail. The tickle tail, yeah. Ooh, this feels like a pretty good fish, buddy. Look at the battle here, man. Nice. Ooh, yeah, that's fun. Okay, here he comes, pal. All right. Here he comes. Trying to maintain the social distancing. Social distancing, even distancing. you got it. There, there you go. go. Show the folks that there. one. Oh, here I can, actually. Yeah. That's a really nice walleye right there. 
And uh, yeah, it's the water got calm, so I went back to that uh, that Caitlin's. It's a Caitlin's grub, but it's a new series this year, and it's called a, a tickle tail. And actually, if you move that thing real slow in the water, it's got great action. But they're making a, a Caitlin's tickle tail in the grub and in the jerk minnow. And you see those little bumps right there? Those little bumps like that? The fall is cool. Isn't that a pretty walleye? Well, I went back to the jerk minnow again. Actually, what I'm doing is switch around all the time. Look at this guy. Here he is. These aren't giant walleyes, but they sure are fun and they sure are nice. You know, average size. Take them up there, Brett. There you go, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> There's an old trick when you got 35 degree water temp. Hand the guide the fish. Uh-huh. Yeah, you're pretty good at that trick. <laughs> no. Actually, going back to that jerk minnow again, and, and I should not mention what you're doing is following the water temp right now. Yeah. I'm trying to stay in the warmer water. Uh, you get out and where it's too cold, and it, that's, they're just not there. You got to get into the warmer water, and it, sometimes it's just a very small pocket. Hey, you know, with this uh, everything going on in the world today, what this has been a very special day. Thank you. Yeah, you it's know. been a lot of fun just getting out here and enjoying our friends and catching fish. And as we heard earlier in the program, even though the state is shut down, you can get out and enjoy our waters. Yep. Yes, you can. Captain Brett Jolly guides the Bay of Green Bay on a daily basis. For more information, give Brett a call. That phone number is 715-581-5678. 581-5678. Each week, I shop online at FleetFarm.com to check out the latest deals. Check out what I found this week. Save $10 on the Angle Live Bait Cooler with net and two-speed air pump on sale for $39.99. And save 50% on the Quantum Pulse Bait Cast Reel on sale for $24.99. Uh, oh, Pete, I'm getting too old for this. So, John, you haven't heard of Brian's Custom Steps? Oh, Pete, those are awesome. How can I get a set? Yeah, I love these big no-slip platforms, and they're made right here in Wisconsin. For more information on Brian's Custom Steps, call 920-315-0333. From the kennel to the coop, whatever the season, Fleet Farm has everything to keep your animals happy and healthy. Whether it's keeping the backyard birds well-fed season, mastering those retrieval skills season, or wondering who takes care of who season, there's a reason people say if Fleet Farm doesn't have it, you don't need it, because we have it all. Fleet Farm, built for real life. Hey Jollies, it was great fishing with you guys today and, and you know with everything going on in the world just nice to spend the day in the boat and and that's good news uh, isn't it Brett that folks can come out with their families and do this just keep social distance right? Yeah absolutely you know just getting out here being with my boy and you and uh, it's just a great great way to get out enjoy the outdoors get out of the house and have some fun. And folks, that is our show for today. Please join us next week. I don't know where we're going to fish yet. We will find a place somewhere. Until then, I'm John Gillespie, hoping to see you enjoying John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. And folks, stay safe. Hey, 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 John Gillespie. This is me and everything done here.